the man, after working hard his whole life, finally came into a huge fortune and decided to share it with the whole town. He started by donating a huge sum to the local orphanage. The man had three children who didn't like to see their fortune shared with everyone. They hated their dad for that, so one night they stabbed him until he died. The man's kids inherited all the money and were never found guilty. They said the ghost of the murdered father now haunts the house, wanting his revenge on any kids that enter. Whoa. That's so cool. Right? That's stupid. You're such a liar. You're not a liar. It's true. It happened three years ago. No one's been in the house since. Three years ago? It's a long time. Yeah, just like those werewolves and vampires and stuff you always tell stories about. No, this is real. My older brother told me. You're a liar and a loser. Leave him alone. If he says it's true, it's true. Last week, it was zombies in the city. Two weeks ago, it was some swamp creature. And before that, he found the Fountain of Youth and it was evil. They, they were, were true. true. You actually believe that? You're such losers. You're not losers, it's true. And you're just a bully. I bet you five bucks you wouldn't spend the night in that house. You can't just pick on us. It's not cool. You three are cool. Hey, you! Stop bullying those kids! Is there a time this way? Come on. Now, uh, what seems to be the problem here? There is no problem here. These losers think this house is haunted. It is haunted! Yeah! Don't call other kids names, all right? It's not cool to be a bully. And this house here, this house is haunted. No way. I don't believe any of you. All right, look. I got to walk these kids across the street, but I don't want to see you being a bully again, OK? Whatever. Plus, if anything, they should be calling you names and making you do the truffle shuffle. I bet you 10 bucks you wouldn't spend the night in that old haunted house. Oh, well, if you're so brave, then you spend the night in the house. Yeah, we'll stay the night if you're brave enough to stay the night. What? 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 Yeah, who's chicken now? We'll all see the night together and see who's wrong and who's chicken. Fine. I'll see you losers here at 10. Bring your flashlight so you babies won't be afraid of the dark. <laughs> I told you Andre was just a big chicken. It's not quite done yet. Whatever. Don't start calling him names and you're no better than he is. Hey, I, you know, I told my mom that I'd be spending the night at your house after winter trick or treating. I told my mom I would be with you watching scary movies all night. I am supposed to be at a friend's house passing out candy to all the trick-or-treaters. I told my parents I'm going to prove that a bunch of babies were really chickens and liars. Oh, hey, Andre. We were just talking about you. We didn't think you were going to show. Of course I have the guts to be here. Move it! Hey, where's your Halloween costume? Not a baby. Too old for Halloween. My brother still dresses up for Halloween, and he's 23. Why are you always picking on us? Because you're freaks, and you always make up stories. We're not freaks. I mean, don't make up stories. Don't make up stories, huh? Then where's your ghost? My brother says that old man Withers was killed at midnight, so every night at midnight he walks house, looking to punish any children he can find. The same brother that is 23 and still dresses up for Halloween? Don't make fun of my brother. Oh, looks like we're staying up late. Thank you. So when my cousin got home, his girlfriend was a zombie. And it really was the zombie apocalypse. If it really was a zombie apocalypse, how come nobody but your cousin knows about it? They covered it up, like always. Yeah, the FBI and the men in black and all those people always cover up all the monsters and aliens. They even sell the stories to Hollywood producers. That way, if they ever do leak, nobody believes them. I think I'm gonna be sick from all that crap you ate. Hey, Rick, what time do you have? My watch says it's almost midnight. My watch says it's already midnight. My phone says it's already midnight, too. Seriously? Okay, come on, that must have just been a draft. Yeah. D didn't you say this house has been abandoned for over three years? Yeah. Um, after being abandoned for such a long time, uh, 
Y'all just get drafty. Yeah. yeah. Must have been. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fog? Seriously? Oh no, something bad always happens when there's fog. <sighs> to help him. Dude, it's Andre. He would not go back for us. Doesn't matter. We can't just let him die. Charlie, he's right. Andre's just a bully. He wouldn't come back for us. He's a bully because he's scared and doesn't have any friends. My brother taught us all to treat everyone like they're one of us. Well, he is one of us now. Okay, let's do it. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. yes. You guys came back for me. Yeah, we can't just let you go in there. I don't understand. I'm so mean to you guys. Charlie says you're one of us now. And they couldn't leave one of us behind. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Thanks, bro. Uh, uh, come, come on, just. Uh, I, I can't breathe. Uh, so I guess uh, we're cool now. Besides, you owe us ten bucks. Told you the house was haunted. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna scare these kids so good. 